So over the years doing my YouTube channel, I have reviewed a number of these pocket readers from the Hisense Touch, the Books Pama. Now we are here. This is the smallest e-reader that currently exists that I would say is viable. It is the XTE Inc. X4. It is from a new company based out of China. And yeah, I'm really excited to finally be reviewing this device for you guys. I read a lot of books probably more than the average person and yeah one of the ways that i'm able to do that is by always just having books on me and how i've done that in the past is always just by keeping a pocket e-reader so i think for me this is a really appealing device because it's the most portable one out there so far and yeah i just tried to be extremely intentional with how i use my devices and i feel like i'd rather reach for a book as opposed to something that's probably not my best interest. I really enjoy these pocket e-readers in the same way that I also really enjoy Brilliant. Brilliant helps you become a better thinker and problem solver through interactive visual lessons and math, science, programming, and data analysis. I've been working through the regression and classification course, which is a hands-on introduction on how we can use data to explain variation and make predictions. I've never really understood a lot of statistics, not gonna lie. So it's been like really useful for learning and brushing up on stuff that I probably have learned in the past. It's way more engaging than just watching lectures because you're learning by doing and I found it sticks way better because of that. So if you want to strengthen your data intuition or just make learning math and science fun again, I really recommend Brilliant. You can start by learning for free right now at brilliant.org slash Schultz or by scanning the QR code on the screen. And if you want to go deeper, Brilliant is giving viewers of this channel a 20% off discount on their annual premium membership. So thank you, Brilliant, for sponsoring this video. And now back to the XTE Inc. X4. So in terms of hardware, it has a 4.3 inch, 220 PPI, black and white e-ink screen, USB-C charging, one, two, three, four front buttons, two volume rocker style side buttons, a power button, an SD card slot, and a reset button. I was not expecting these to be actually two different buttons, but yeah, this is actually four different buttons. This one acts as the home, and this one acts as the back, and this is like page up and page down. This one is page up, page down, and this is the power button. There is no touchscreen. The device is entirely button operated. There's no front light on the device. So for those of you who like to read in bed, that might be an issue. But for me, I have an e-reader that I just leave in my bed. So I pretty much use this exclusively for when I leave the house. For that application, that has not been an issue, but I could imagine it being an issue if you use it for more than just that. The screen itself looks great. The matte finish on it is really pleasant compared to previous pocket handhelds. The page buttons themselves feel okay. I wouldn't describe them as like amazing or anything. Uh, they're a little bit hollow, but they work as you'd expect. And then ergonomically in the hand, the device is a little bit awkward. I find like, I kind of find myself wanting something slightly either taller or smaller, like Zoom HD size or like slightly taller just to fit my hand. The device itself is smaller than an index card and it's super pocketable, which is really nice and convenient. It's so light and yeah, it's really easy to hold in your hand. And I think this is kind of like the dream in terms of portability. The battery life has been so long that I have probably not charged it yet from what I remember. It's like not something that I have even thought about. So that's pretty good. And also get the device in black or gray. The gray was out of stock for a super long time until now. And yeah, I finally managed to get it in. The system is based on ESP32. It has 128 megabytes of RAM. Honestly, it's like fine for this application. Everything moves quickly. And if you know how to work on ESP32 systems, you can actually flash the English as Chinese firmware onto it and someone has uploaded that to reddit from what i've seen and they also include a 32 gigabyte sd card when you buy it and yeah you can upgrade it to however you want it also has wi-fi 2.4 gigahertz on it i was able to use it successfully to connect to my internet and do a software update and yeah that fixed a lot of the issues that the english formatting had so it's a lot more pleasant to read off of now and i'll show you what that looked like before and after the hardware itself I would describe as A- minus to B+, plus, which is like really good, especially for the first iteration of a product from this brand new company. Mm -hmm.
So the software is definitely the weakest aspect of this device, I would say. Um, it's a new company and they're not using Android or anything. It's a custom firmware. Yeah, that means you cannot install apps on it or anything like that. And the software itself is quite bare bones for sure. You can pretty much only read off of it. You can read EPUBs off of it, which is awesome. A lot of the pocket readers that have come out of China up until now, they're like this size, only have read .dxt files, which this one also does if for some reason you're reading .txt files. Overall, like the reader itself um, is like fine. I mean, it works. It's not like perfect or anything. I wish that it had co-reader. The fonts on this reader are a little bit weird. You have to use their proprietary software to generate a .bin file for the fonts meaning that you cannot change the font size and like the spacing and stuff like that on the fly which is probably one of like the worst aspects of this device but that's definitely like one of the more annoying aspects that make an e-reader like fun to use is because you can just like address that kind of stuff there are still some issues with certain words where it's like if it has like a french accent or whatever it does not show up but other than that like everything i mean has worked so if you're not expecting like car reader it's definitely pretty good I would say and yeah you're also able to set a custom lock screen which I have done myself this is just a BMP file that I uploaded to the device it's not like the sharpest thing in the world but I mean it looks pretty good so compared to something like the Hisense touch this is significantly smaller which is pretty cool I feel like this really disappears in the pocket um, I don't know about the durability, but everything seems fine so far, whereas this is a lot more of like a chunker. The buttons do feel, I'd say, better on this device, but yeah. This device, I tend to read it horizontally. This you can't even do that in, so I tend to read it like this. As far as like portability, maybe they're like not that different, as in there's probably not a significant difference. I'd say that this one is a little bit better for battery life, and these actually have like the same screen resolution. I believe or about the same um, this is also significantly cheaper than this device you probably can't even get this device very easily this one i got it like in 2021 so it's like several years old now whereas this one uh is brand new and you can get it for like 50 to 70 dollars so it's like i feel like if like you haven't had an e-reader up until now this would be a good place to start and if you <laughs> get your books in an unsavory way it will pay for itself uh, pretty quickly I would say so as far as like demerits for this device the software definitely needs a little bit more polishing I would like to see more features on the device at some point especially the ability to dynamically change fonts that'd be awesome that being said the company itself XTE Inc seems really responsive or at least rather responsive on like reddit which is like a really good sign so buying this device I bought it off of their website xteinc.com which is their official site. And yeah, I was able to like contact support and stuff and they responded within like a few days, which is, uh, they're a new company, I kind of get it. It's not great, but it is what it is. And then it took them a while to ship it, but once they shipped it, there was no tracking number. So when I got it, I didn't even realize that I had it until they like gave me a tracking number. I don't really expect that to be like the general case for them. Honestly, think they were just like dealing with a lot of stuff and my order probably just got mishandled. The device itself is $69 from the official website and you can get it for a lot cheaper if you buy it off of places like aliexpress around like the 50 dollars mark but when you buy it off of aliexpress it ships with the chinese firmware and if you buy it from the official website it ships with the english firmware i've seen people port the english firmware so that you can flash it onto your device if you do decide to go with the aliexpress route but i have not done that myself and for most people i probably recommend just buying it straight from them so as far as I can tell, it looks like they have plans for two more devices, the X3, which is going to be an even smaller e-reader, and the S4, I believe, which is going to be running Android. I know these devices have gained quite the cult following, apparently, in China, and I can definitely see why. Uh, I definitely think that this is the future of e-reading. Being able to read on something like this is really convenient. I would say way better than reading off of something like a Kindle, when you're out and about it's just like so much more portable this has become a part of my daily kit i personally don't mind the beta ness of it it's pretty fun to use not gonna lie and yeah if you need like a quick gift for someone for the holidays i think it'd be like really cool if you just like gave them an e-reader with a bunch of books i'll make a follow-up video if they ever release the x3 or the s4 and i'll try to get my hands on it but that's it for now uh, have a nice rest of your day bye